here I am today at Hunts Pond, uh, what turned out to be a very simple float day for me turned into a bit of an event for the tench fishers. Anyway, we're uh, enjoying reasonable weather, staying dry at the moment, which for this year has been quite a, a, a notable event, but uh, so far no fish reported, but it's uh, very enjoyable just sitting here. while coming I've had some finicky bites and I've bumped a couple of fish but I finally got one on the bank. It's not a monster at all, it's a five pound two and as you can see it's a bit empty in the belly. That was on a prawn, it's the first time I've used prawns on this venue so it's uh, nice to have a fish on a different bait. But uh, let's get this back anyway and uh, see if we can uh, get another one. This was as, as a result of casting to a showing fish actually on the far bank. So nowhere near my uh, baited spot at all. So it goes to show that sometimes you just got to react. When you see something, go for it. But anyway, let's uh, put this uh, little tinker bag. So this is the, uh, the bottom end of the rig that I used catch that tench. It's a bit unconventional for a float rig but as you can see I'm hair rigging a prawn using one of those, uh, using one of those quick stops that you push through with the uh, bait tight to the hook. Very short hook link and then a quick change swivel. The reason I'm doing that is because actually I've been using a pellet cone and so I need to be able to take the hook link off so I can thread the uh, the pellet cone onto the bait and push it down onto the hook. Um, and I've got a little stopper that's just ready to cushion this uh, inline olivet. And I'm fishing essentially. It's a it's the lift method really. I'm just sort of casting out and then tightening up the line until the float sits nicely and it's all tight. And then I can uh, see if anything anything moves slightest movement I, I register so um, I wait for the uh, float to sail away and to be honest this fish it just shot away and put up quite a good account of itself um, so there you go weird rig but it worked
<laughs> Tedge Fisher, Stuart, gonna let us know how he's getting on so far. Oh, at least you haven't blanked so far. I've not. Uh, I've, I've had bought a branch about that big. Oh, <laughs> that's a PB that's then. A PB, yeah. I think like everybody else, it's uh, not exactly happening at the moment, is it? It's a crap. <laughs> <laughs> They're strong fish, they don't have fight in here. Well, it's not a tench, but it's enough pull. <laughs> well done, Carl. Well, it's uh, been a long time coming, but I've got a second tench of the session. Again, it was on the prawn, which, like I said, is not a bait that I've used on here before, but it seems to be the only bait that I can get bites on at the moment. Four pound eleven. Pretty fish though. Good, good neck. The other one was a bit bashed and uh, bruised, but this one's in lovely condition. Again, a bit of an empty belly. But they do put up a good fight in this pond. I think it's because there's just not a lot of space. Yeah, I, I reckon high, high three, low four probably. It's more than I caught anyway, so yeah. Chris with his first fish of the day. Nuisance fish. <laughs> Frankly, any fish. It didn't like that, it stuck its dorsal like when I called it a nuisance fish. <laughs> Come on, fish. But, uh, well done, Chris, anyway. <laughs> let's get it back and let's get attention there. Well, back at the car park. There's a uh, heavy rain coming, so a few of us have uh, packed up and run to the cars. So it's not to get too wet, but um, what a tough day on the little pond. Normally fish is a bit better than that. I think there's only three tench caught, a couple of carp. Um, I lost a couple of tench as well. But uh, yeah, tough fishing, don't know why. Don't know whether it's been fished heavily over the last few days. As they sometimes rent it out for matches and uh, I suppose that could have had an impact. But honestly, it's probably just something to do with the weather. It's been so warm and muggy. Uh, it's probably put them off feeding to be honest. Mm -hmm. 